hopefully this will not fall and also stay in focus. I haven't vlogged like this in the car with my car mount in quite a while and it's always tricky like finding the perfect spot for the camera and like getting it mounted securely but i think this is good it is not obstructing my view in any way anyway hey guys welcome back to another vlog it is saturday morning i'm headed to the salon i am fully booked today with three clients they're all getting color and cuts they are all regulars though so that's kind of nice. It should be a pretty smooth, predictable day. My boyfriend is actually in town visiting me. He lives in Pennsylvania right now while he's finishing up school, so we've been long distance, like since we got back together in the fall. He's been down here a couple times in the past, but never for an extended period of time, so I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I still haven't shown him, that we haven't been able to do down here that I've been wanting to do. So it's gonna be nice having him be here for a few weeks. So yeah, I'm gonna just go get these clients done and then I don't know what we're gonna do once I get home. It depends how tired I feel once I get done with work. That's one thing that really sucks about working on Saturdays. Even if my plans aren't until later in the evening, when you've been working all day and especially working on your feet and talking to people all day long, by the time you get home from work and then take the dog out then you feel gross, you wanna wash your face, change your clothes, it's hard to muster up the energy to then wanna go out and socialize after that, you know? I am getting my own salon suite in a few weeks, which I am so excited about. Cause the situation at my salon now, and I know I've talked about this in the past, so I'm sorry if it's repetitive, but I'm at a commission salon, but when I started there, like, I kind of, like, it, it was sort of unconventional. It's not like they were looking to hire stylists or needed more stylists. I was working the front desk part-time during my little like break from doing hair when I first moved down here and then I started to miss it and she let me take clients but there is no space really for me. And then a few months after I started taking clients there, she had two assistants that were ready to start taking clients of their own as well and I mean there's a lot of stations in that salon but it's one of those salons where they all double and sometimes triple book and they all work with an assistant at all times and they work full-time hours so all during the week pretty much every station is being used so right now I've been having to kind of like take it a week at a time if somebody has the day off or they are doing a wedding or they're doing like an updo trial something that has to be single booked and I can see on the schedule like oh there is going to be a chair available for me <laughs> those are the times then that I can book clients but it's like that's not sustainable you know it's really hard to pre-book people to grow your clientele when you don't have set hours and it's also hard to like schedule everything else in my life and you know doing hair is not my only job obviously you know i do youtube and social media for my career as well and it's hard to feel like any sense of stability when your schedule is just all over the place and you also like don't have that sense of belonging when you don't have a space that's your own and you're kind of hopping around and saturdays most of the girls do not work on saturdays so Saturday is like my only guaranteed day where there is space for me to take clients. It means that like I have to work Saturdays every week basically. And they're always my busiest days. But like I said, I'm getting my own suite soon and I'm so excited about that to be able to make my own schedule and not have to work Saturdays every single week and to just have a space that's mine and all my own products and I know where everything is things aren't gonna get like moved around or lost or yeah I don't know like feeling like I'm invading someone else's space or something you know what I mean so yeah I am excited we just got a few more weeks left so I'm just trying to power through these next few weeks 
it's like even when you know you're going to be moving out of your house or your apartment you just get so excited about the new place especially if it's going to be like an upgrade that then you're just like you almost get a little bit i don't want to say resentful but you're just kind of like ugh, you're just over it you know like with your old place on like the last month or so that you're there you're just like oh I hate this about this place and I just can't wait for this to be different and you just aren't excited anymore about your current place that's like how I'm feeling lately but today should be a good day I packed myself some lunch I am gonna go in and do my clients I will try to record as much of my day as I can it's funny how I was just talking about there not being space at the salon and how Saturdays are like my only guaranteed days I got there and there was a huge wedding party so I was just kind of crammed in the corner but this was client number one she's one of my regulars as you can see her hair was getting pretty grown out she had a lot of darkness in the back she likes to keep it dimensional and lived in and low maintenance and like you know more beachy um so we were just doing a full head usually we'll alternate like one appointment we'll do a partial then the next appointment we'll do a full so this time we were doing a full and I also did a little bit of freehand painting on some of the like leave outs just to kind of brighten those up a bit you can see in the background like how many people that was only like half of the wedding party so this is what I did for her gloss and I did do a little bit of a root tap just to keep it like really soft and extra blendy at the root this was her final hair I'm gonna let the audio play by itself just so you can hear how loud it was in the salon <laughs> Okay, enough of that. I know some people are probably going to be like, that's not even bad. That's normal for a salon. Saturdays, though, it's usually like so quiet and peaceful and I look forward to those days. Uh, but yeah, then my second client was just getting her roots covered. She just likes her hair to be black. So I did a 3N and then for the last few minutes, I pulled it down on the ends to refresh those. And then client number three has been getting this really beautiful natural looking copper so we were just touching up her roots and then she also wanted to do a little bit of a balayage to add some highlights and some dimension throughout the end so this is what I did for her root color and then this was her final hair you can see those lighter pieces through the ends oh it just looks so beautiful and she just pulls off this copper like natural redhead color so well I got in the car at the perfect time. It started pouring a little while ago and then it stopped briefly just as I was finishing my last client. And then as I was coming out to the car, it started up a little bit and now it's starting to come down heavy again. So just got in here, perfect timing. I'm gonna head home and I don't think I'm gonna vlog the rest of the weekend because I'm just gonna be hanging out with my boyfriend and you know, just being in the moment, but I will continue the vlog on Tuesday because I have another full day of clients. So I will see you on Tuesday. Hey, good morning. It's Tuesday. I am about to head to the salon. It is so disgustingly hot and humid out. And I, my hair was like super greasy and I didn't feel like washing it and blowing it out and stuff. And I'm glad that I didn't because it is so humid. My hair would have just been frizzing up anyway. So I just slicked it back with some gel and hairspray, tucked it behind the ears. Love this. I think it's super cute. I filmed a little tutorial for Instagram. So go check out my hair Instagram page, styled by Sam Vey, if you want to see how I did it. Super easy. And I love my outfit today. I'll get a little clip when I get to the salon, but I'm wearing this denim although i don't know that this is real denim because it's thinner and more lightweight than denim which is actually good because i feel like it's more breathable and more comfortable um but it's from amazon and it's just all a one piece jumpsuit long pants super super cute like cinches at the waist wish me luck this is my first time wearing it wish me luck i don't get color on it fingers crossed i have 
three clients today. The first one is new, not new to the salon, but new to me. And she is getting a single process and a haircut. And then my second one is getting a balayage. I've cut her hair a couple times already. She likes to just get a balayage like once a year, like super lived in, low maintenance. And then my third client, I did her hair once last year. And I think I remember who this is. And if it is who I remember, she has a lot of thick hair and we had chopped a lot off and did like a really low maintenance, soft, like brunette balayage. But by now I'm sure her hair's grown a lot. So I'm not entirely sure. She's down for a highlight and a cut. So I'm not sure if we're just gonna do the same thing that we did last time. We'll see, it should be a good day though. It's just gonna be kind of a long day because it's full colors and cuts. But everyone's back to back, so hopefully it flows smoothly. I will see you at the salon. Here's a full look at that jumpsuit. It is so cute and so comfortable. I'll put a link down below. Like I said, it's from Amazon. And this was client number one. She was just getting an all over root to end demi permanent like chocolate brown color. And we also ended up cutting several inches off her hair. I forgot to get an after clip. Um, and then this was client number two. I thought I got clips of the process of her hair, but I can't seem to find them. So that was her hair before, didn't get an after clip. Um, and then this was client number three. Her hair got so long <laughs> since the last time I did it, um, but she wanted to go a lot brighter this time and cut several inches off. So I did a full head of blonde. Kept it, you know, nice and dimensional though. And as you can see, we cut kind of like a long bob length and it just looks so cute on her. I really, really loved how this came out. Oh my God. I have not looked at myself in the mirror in a few hours. It's so damn humid out. My lens is fogging up. I feel like a greasy mess. Okay, this is still foggy. I'm gonna drive home. I'll try to clean the lens and then we will catch up. There we go. Finally got the lens clean. So much better. Hey, good morning. I should have got a clip of my hair when I first woke up this morning because I washed it last night and then I was too exhausted to blow dry it. So I slept on it wet, which you shouldn't do. It's not great for your hair, can cause breakage. And when I woke up, it was literally like sticking up and all crazy. And like some parts were really curly, some parts weren't. It's still, so I just blow dried it a little bit to kind of smooth it out and tame it a little bit, but I'm gonna need to put some more heat on it. But I'm excited to actually have it be styled cute today because I hadn't washed it for like a week and it was just greasy, so I had been doing a lot of slick backs and just wearing a hat and stuff the last few days. But I think today I'm gonna do like a half up and have my little face frame pieces down. I have to say it is a lot faster to deal with because obviously it's way less hair, so blow drying it takes me like five minutes but I feel like when my hair was longer, even though it would take me a little bit longer the first time around, but then it would just kind of like stay and, or I could just let it air dry. It wasn't as high maintenance. Like I feel like the shorter hair, I have to do something to it. I can't just like wake up and go. But yeah, it is currently Thursday. I have one client today. I think I showed you guys her hair in my last vlog. She had done a lot to it herself at home bleached it, um, I think put red on it, and then a few layers of brown. It was a lot darker than what she wanted, and she just wanted to lighten it up a little bit so she would just have like a softer, more flattering color for her complexion. Her natural hair color is more of like a light brown, and she also just wants a little bit of dimension. Last week, I did a clarifying treatment on her hair. I did the Malibu CPR system, and that faded her color a lot, and it just made her hair feel super, super clean too. It just removed any of like that top layer of excessive built up color and any built up minerals from the water. So today, we are going to finish the process and I'm gonna do a full head of foils on her because now she has a nice base to work with. We're just gonna add 
a little bit of dimension, some lighter pieces. We also did a test strand last week to make sure that her hair would lift well and maintain the integrity. Honestly, I love the days when I just have one client because it's so easy and I don't have to worry about constantly checking the time and worrying about running behind or anything like that. And I can just like take my time, clean as I go, be in the moment with my client. Okay, makeup is done. I kept it super light, just a little under eye concealer, blush, mascara, and then I took like a brown eyeshadow and just flicked out a little wing. Now I'm gonna do my hair. So I'll show ya. It's super, super easy. I'm just gonna use my flat iron. This is the Dyson Corral. I'm just like smoothing it out first. Get rid of that frizz and tame it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take some pieces and just twist. And then it just creates this little wave. And I just kind of want it to have a little bit of a bend, not necessarily be super curly. So I just twist it quick and then I like pull it down a little bit with my fingers so that it doesn't have time to like set in a curl. Once I do the underneath, I'm gonna section away my face frame pieces, whatever I want to leave down. And then I'm just gonna pull back the top. I'm gonna just take a little rubber band and just tie that. Especially with the short hair, I really like these smaller sized ones. Um, I got this in like a big pack with multiple different like sizes and shapes and different colors, all neutrals um, from Amazon. I'll link them down below. But I'm just going to put this over the top of that ponytail like that. And then these front pieces, I want to make sure they're nice and smooth up top. Then I'm just gonna twist, kind of flip these pieces back away from my face. There we go. Easy, cute. I am gonna go get dressed and I'll show you my outfit when I get to the salon and share the process of my client's hair. I'll see you soon. So this is what her hair looked like after we had did like that clarifying treatment a few days prior. Her hair starting out when she first came to me was a really dark brown so that clarifying treatment really lightened her hair up a lot and just prepped it so that we had a nice clean base to work with so I just started out with nine volume with my lightener to keep it really low so that we could you know be really gentle and healthy throughout the process and that was a look at my outfit uh, I had white overalls from I think H&M and that little hot pink bodysuit underneath so I did a full head of little tiny teased baby lights to keep everything super, super soft. And then this is what I did for her toner. Just applied that all over. And then this was her finished hair. We didn't even end up needing to do any haircut at all. Her hair was super, super healthy. It lifted so well and it just looks so natural. I am obsessed Hello, good morning. It's Tuesday again, another Tuesday. This vlog is really like, we're stretching it out. Saturday, I didn't vlog anything, but I did go in for like a really quick easy day. I had two clients. One was just getting her roots covered, gray coverage. And I had did a balayage on her a few months ago and I just refreshed the toner on the balayage. This is what her hair looked like. So beautiful. I love just like a nice, rich, sun-kissed brunette. I feel like down here, blondes are so popular, which I love doing blondes as well, but it's nice when you have somebody that just wants to stay dark, but still have some dimension and like such easy maintenance too, which is nice. And then my second client, we did sort of like phase one of the color correction that we are gonna finish tonight. Today I have three clients. 
first one, I did her hair like 10 months ago. She's down for a full color and a cut and she has a lot of hair. So I blocked out four hours for her. And then my second client is coming in just for a toner, no blowout or anything like that. And then my last client is gonna be the color correction. So I'm gonna probably be there. I'm not going in until 1230, which is nice, but I'm gonna probably be there till like nine at least I would guess. I'm looking forward to it. I also though, I'm just kind of looking forward to like getting it over with because today is the only day this week that I'm gonna be taking clients because it's my birthday week. So I have some people coming into town and I just wanted to like take the next few days off to just enjoy my birthday, celebrate with my friends and family. But yeah, I'm turning 32 this Friday. It's crazy. I have been loving being in my 30s so far, but I don't know, 32 just like really sounds like adult to me. And sometimes I still feel like I'm 18. <laughs> anyway, I am gonna finish getting ready really quick, make myself some lunch to bring with me, and I'll see you at the salon. So this was client number one's hair before. Like I said, it had been several months since the last time we did her hair, so it was very grown out, and the goal today was to just chop several inches off and go a lot lighter. So I started out by just doing a rough cut to remove that extra length so we weren't wasting time and product lightning hair that we were just going to end up cutting off. I did a full head of foils. This is how her hair looked, just the raw lift before any toner. It came out so beautiful. I love when the hair just lifts really beautiful and it looks super clean even before toner because then you know once that toner fades over time, it's still going to look good. So this was her finished hair. And my second client actually ended up needing to reschedule. So this was client number three. This is what I had did on her hair the Saturday before. So starting out, you can see she has a few inches of virgin hair that has some gray. Then she has layers and layers of black box dye. And then she has like some orangey highlights throughout the ends that were done by a different stylist. So on Saturday, I started out by doing the Malibu CPR full system. I always like to start out any color correction by doing this clarifying treatment first because it just removes any buildup and it preps the hair and it just helps me get better results with less damage. So first I washed her hair with the clarifying shampoo, then I applied the color disruptor and I put that in a processing cap under heat for 30 minutes. After the 30 minutes I pulled that out I shampooed her with the clarifying shampoo a couple times again. Then I mixed up the CPR treatment. It's a powder that comes in a packet. You just mix it up with water in a color bottle. I applied that all over, made sure I fully saturated it, put that in a processing cap under heat for 45 minutes, and then shampooed it with the clarifying shampoo a couple times again. This is what her hair looked like after doing that full system. You can see it just looks so much healthier and shinier and it did fade the black a little bit as well. This treatment is not a color remover. There's no bleach or anything in it so it's not going to do anything harmful or be damaging that's also not going to change the natural color at all. It's another reason why I love it. Okay so coming back to present day Tuesday night when she came in. The goal was to make her hair an all over burgundy color. Now, those of you who aren't hairstylists might be thinking, okay, why couldn't you just put a burgundy color on top of her hair and call it a day? Because she has artificial color, you can't just put color on top of color. It wouldn't do anything. If I put a burgundy color on her head, her roots where she has virgin hair would come out burgundy. The rest would stay black and it would just pick up on like those little bit of highlights she had. It would be a hot mess. So first we need to strip out the black color. So I did a full head back to back slices with bleach with very low developer. I wanted to keep this all like very slow, healthy, gentle. We also didn't need to lift her hair significantly, so there was no need to do anything too strong. And you can see I kind of feathered up to the root because I didn't want to bleach her natural virgin roots that wasn't necessary. So I pulled the foils out section at a time as they were ready. Then I rough dried her hair and I applied a permanent 
burgundy sort of like cherry cola color and this was her final hair we did end up doing a little bit of a slight trim but she didn't have to lose much honestly her hair felt so healthy and it just came out so beautiful hello i just got in the car i am about to head home finally it is 10 15. she got stuck in traffic on her way to the salon from work so we started a little bit later than planned but all together that took hmm, about four and a half hours from start to finish which is about what i expected i was expecting around four hours so her hair came out beautiful it felt amazing that's the best part honestly it felt healthier now after we did everything than it did when she first came to me for her consultation last week so that's always a good feeling. But yeah, I'm gonna go home and wash my face and get ready for bed. And I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already following me on my hair Instagram page at Styled by Sam Bay, make sure you're following me there because I have been posting a lot on there and sharing a lot on stories. I'll see you over on Instagram and super soon in my next video. Bye.